Dr. Betty. Every year in this country, more than 200,000 people suffer from a painful condition that becomes more common with age. In today's HealthCast, medical specialist Christy Kruger takes a closer look at trigger finger and the latest way to treat it. It can happen without warning. Suddenly a finger or a thumb pops into a strange curved shape and won't release. And what happens is, is an inflammatory process of the uh, system of pulleys that we have in our fingers. That pulley system gets thickened and catches the finger. So once we flex, we are unable to extend it because it's caught in there. Rosalind Menendez has been struggling with trigger finger for a couple of years, and it got progressively worse. It came to a time that I had to, you know, do something. It was painful. It was not working right, and I have, I said, I have to do something. The usual treatment for trigger finger involves a conservative approach using night splints, anti-inflammatories, activity modification, and cortisone injections, all to reduce the inflammation. If they failed, then we have to resort to a more aggressive approach. That used to mean invasive surgery to release the tension, but Dr. Jorge Gonzalez, a specialist in sports and regenerative medicine, is using a less invasive approach with ultrasound guided technology. We could actually see the problem and with a needle, with a little 18 gauge needle, we could go in there and cut it and without having to actually make a big incision. It ultimately has the same outcomes. It was just straightforward, fast, painless, and simple. And within just a couple of days, Rosalind was back to using her hand normally once again. I can use my hands like always and without having any pain or any discomfort, especially that pen and snap here that you have to, it's terrible, it's a very bad feeling. And uh, it's gone, it's completely gone. Now, trigger finger sometimes happens after surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome, especially in the first six months after that procedure. But it can also be an issue of overuse. Mechanics, typists, anyone who uses their fingers a lot can have an increased risk for this. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger. All right, thank you, Christy. A lot